All right, it just turned on and uh, started cutting. You can see this deep grass that it has to go through. All right, so we have Yarbo coming down the trail. This is coming from the house. It's gonna go several hundred feet away from the house. Come back in these trails. And then in this uh, back field here, it's about three acre field, three or four acre field, I believe. And uh, a couple years ago, I um, actually paid a, a guy to uh, come and run a bulldozer, make a, a track out of it, a dirt track for like ATVs and, and stuff. And so over the years, it has um, grown a lot of grass on it. Uh, so I have to cut it. And it's kind of a pain to get out here and cut it every once in a while. Um, so now with the Yarbo Pro module, I'm going to see if it can actually handle this thick field grass. Now, you know, the, the majority of this stuff is probably six to eight inches tall right now but then you have all these uh these shoots that are up to you know probably a couple feet tall um here so this goes all the way around um so i made a big area and then a big uh, no-go zone in the middle so it's doing a lane that's probably i don't know how wide it is it's probably you know 25 30 feet wide so it's going to go through here this is the pro module that has the actual blades i'm going to cut it at 3.8 inches of height so just under the four inch maximum that it has so you can see now it is uh, arriving here on site um and we'll see i obviously have not cut this uh, with this guy i've driven on it some but uh this is the mower now uh, lining up to cut All right, so it's driving right now, not cutting um, to its starting point where it does optimal. Now, I did not uh, mess with optimizing the layout just yet because I want to just see if it can cut it. And then I might uh, decide if I pick spiral cut or if I pick adaptive, uh, you know, the different uh, patterns that it can do for cutting. So let's just see how it cuts first and then we'll decide to optimize. All right, it just turned on and uh, started its cutting. You can see this deep grass that it has to go through. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes and it has a decent chunk of this first uh, straightaway done and still got more on this side over here. It's definitely not a perfect cut by any means. A lot of this long grass with the seeds is still uh, sticking up. I think I have a four inch overlap. So, I mean, it's not a brush hog. It's not going to cut it deep, but honestly, that's fine because the reason it gets long like this is because I don't get out here enough on my, um, my big zero turn to actually cut it. So now if I can prove out, it looks like it's doing a pretty good job here working. If I can prove it can come out here and cut it, I can keep this guy going out once a week or whenever and actually cut this grass. So this is my trial run to see how it does. I'll probably send it uh, again to clean up and see if I can do two cuts with it and actually get it down to a, uh, a good level. Uh, so we'll just watch it and see how it does.
All right, so here we are. We're going on round two now. So I have it just going back out and um, cutting again um, because the first time it left a lot of, of, of um, kind of overlap places. So what I'm doing is I changed it to a spiral pattern as well, which makes it maybe a little more efficient um, by just falling around. And then now it's going to go back up and I have it at a full eight inch overlap. So hopefully it's going to kind of clean up the mess that I've done. It's done a couple rows here on the right. Um, it's definitely going through and uh, cutting it down. So we'll see. I'm confident now that this machine, especially once I get the track under control and I get it down to like a six inch long grass, I can send it out here weekly and get this covered with one cut, which is very impressive. I'm pretty happy with this. All right, so it just started up. It's a blade disc after it came back out here. It's 85% done with its second pass. So I ran it once yesterday, or kind of like you ran into the night and then charged it up all the way. And then it came out in the morning. I said, yep, let me go run it again because it missed some places or you know, some of the thick stuff, it didn't get all the way down. So I'm running it again. And uh, I am actually very happy with, it's basically clearing up all of the stuff uh, fully here now on the path. Um, after the second go around uh, so you know if it let if it left some big stuff out there before it's going back over it and then it's leaving it uh, definitely cut you can see here and you can see how big of a uh, you know five six inches that is cutting off of this um, of this grass you see this line that it's going through right now um, as it's finishing up the 85 or the last whatever 15 percent so it's going through and cutting this now it's not going to be um, perfect, but it is doing a really good job. So, I mean, it's doing um, a good job of clearing it. And now I know if I were to keep this running every week, I can have this all stay um, cut and cleared for me. So I don't have to come out here anymore with my... Uh, manual mower and have to drive it around it will do it by itself i mean there there are some areas where it's pushed down the grass and you know they pop back up you have a couple of these but even this one like this one's cut um this one's not cut though but you know there are definitely places where it missed stuff um but uh, even my um zero turn mower when i come out here if i were to try to let it uh, get really long then cut it 
I had the same type of problem. So uh, truthfully, if I want to get it clean, clean on this run, I probably need to run it one more time to get it fully clean. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait a few more days. I got to cut some other areas of my yard with Yarbo and then I'll send it back out um, to cut and I'm going to have it keep running here and cutting this. So I guess what we should do is just look at, I'm going to pause it real fast and then I'm going to pick it up and show you what the blades look like. So we know what they look like after they've been cutting uh, this really thick uh, grass. Right, get back to work, Jarbo. I'm going back home. All right, well, if you have any questions about this Jarbo uh, Mower Pro module or the Jarbo itself, feel free to put it in a, a comment down below. I do read the comments and I try to answer them whenever possible. So if you want to see some other uh, types of testing, either with these robotic mowers or any of my other stuff, I do a lot of uh, 5G home internet and Wi Fi stuff as well. So be sure to check out my channel. Hit the like button on this video for me if you would, and then consider subscribing uh, so you can get uh, more videos from me.